Hey guys, welcome back. So today I just decided I'm just gonna go over a few things, which is um, Ramadan and Eid and how it's been going in less than three or four days is Eid. So far it's just been insane. We're still at home, just um, focusing on, you know, the spiritual connection and just praying five times a day, eating at sunrise till sunset which is not bad to be honest for 15 hours a day at first you think like oh my goodness am i gonna make it but then again after a few days yes you do make it and we don't really get hungry like for me personally i get really thirsty so which is not bad so today is the holy night where we're gonna stay up and just pray ask for forgiveness um be thankful so I just wanted to go over trending topics because I haven't really done anything like this. Just usually been cooking or view of our site. So let's just get into it. It seems these are the top five trending trending topics right now. I'm just gonna go over it with you guys. So what is Ramadan? Ramadan is the most sacred month of the year in Islamic culture. It is the ninth month also in the Islamic calendar. We observe the month of Ramadan to mark when Allah gave the first chapter of the Quran to our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Um, during this time, we try to abstain from like pleasures such as like hugging, kissing, drinking alcohol, smoking, things like that. We began Ramadan after we see like the first sight of the moon. But till this day, we do have people that rely on their religious leaders to announce as well, which we do personally as well too. Because we want to make sure, I always like to double check. As far as fasting goes, we fast for 30 days from sunrise to sunset, obviously. And we pray five times a day, but with additional namaz, which is called Tarawih namaz, and it's 20. 20 and a half. So it pretty much takes an hour and a half to pray. Um, sometimes even half hour you could do it, but that's just like if you're kind of being speedy, which you try not to do. Um, we're not allowed to eat anything, food or drink water until sunset. It is during this time we give zahat, which is support to like the poor or the needy people. Some people do go to Hajj during this time, but because of the situation right now, you can't really do it. Even though at first this seems to be difficult, like to fast for 15 hours, it does. Honestly, the first day I felt like I was gonna fall, but day two kicked in, I was like, oh wait, this is so easy, I can totally do this. And so far, it's been so good. Was during the daytime, I'm not really hungry. I am very thirsty, like especially when you're praying, you do get thirsty, you know, it takes a while. So Muslims all over the world fast because fasting is one of the pillars of Islam, which is the fourth pillar. The other pillars are um, your faith, prayer, charity, obviously, and going to the pilgrimage. Um, personally, from experience, Ramadan has been like a spiritual connection for me, but I find it hard to eat in the morning. I don't sleep at night because if i go to sleep and then i'm waking up at like 3 a.m food and then eat i find it really difficult i feel like i'm gonna vomit so during ramadan i stay up even my husband like this ramadan he's staying up as well because we find it hard eating so we just stay up eat pray then we sleep around five six um and then you know just go rest of our day the only thing that is really hard you want to avoid is again the oily food because 15 hours of fasting and then digesting um, oily food, you're bound to get stomach aches. Like it has personally happened, so you wanna avoid that. If you're looking into like losing weight, you just wanna focus on eating the right food. Um, there are people who are exempt from fasting, um, people who are, you know, ill, pregnant ladies, um, and elderly, you are exempt. Um, usually, you know, you start fasting when you hit puberty from experience i can tell you my parents tried to get me fasting but they would always make me break it like midday like oh you're done you're fine you know it's just to get in a habit of it so that really helped me so if you're like those people who wants to do it honestly do like a midday halfway and then eat so you can kind of go in routine of you know fasting if you're not used to it so this year ramadan has began on april 23rd it is most likely going to end on may 22nd or the 23rd and the following day will be eid which means end of ramadan so we're just going to have a celebration but due to the situation right now i guess we're all going to be stuck at home not really trying to go out there are people that started doing shopping for eid because you know it is a celebration we usually go shopping and some buy things but i don't do that because i think it's a waste of money you're spending about two to five hundred dollars on a dress or you know something that you're going to wear only for one day and then you're like you just put it away like oh whatever you know because i have been doing this for years personally and i stopped doing it because 
it's a waste of money. These were the five trending topics. I hope I covered it. Um, it just says, what is Ramadan? When is Ramadan? How long is Ramadan? How to lose weight? Um, if there's anything else you guys want to hear or know about, please leave me a comment. I'll try to cover it if possible. Thank you so much. I appreciate everything. Again, take care. Bye.